Morning, Nextera and Frontier people. I got the next big thing for you. It's Sunday afternoon, looking to do a little modding, but you want to have a couple drinks and you don't want to screw something up. Let's do something light. I got you covered. Nextera Performance has now come up with the new armrest cover. Simple, do it yourself, install. Let me show you how to do it real quick. What you're going to do is you're going to take off your armrest. So your armrest will look like this inside the car. You're going to unbolt this uh, from the hinge. Just three screws, probably a T20 or a Phillips. You're going to remove this and you're going to get your armrest. Now some of the newer cars come with an armrest cover. It's a big rubber plastic piece that goes over um, and it simply just pulls off. The older cars, oh my, the older cars have this like material, uh, it's, it's like a foam with a super thin vinyl on it. Um, either way, this, this will wrap over it and it'll give you enough room to work with to uh, get the new armrest cover on. If you're going to go with the leather one, you're going to have to take off this big honky rubber thing just because the leather doesn't quite squish and bend like it should. So just heads up, if you're going to get the leather armrest cover, which isn't even available yet but will be soon, you're going to have to pull this big rubber piece off. If not, then you're going to go with the standard fabric one. This fabric squishes and pulls really tightly and easily, so it's really easy to do. So here's your armrest cover. There's going to be a small F on the front. That's going to be the front. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your armrest, you're going to slide that front piece, the front of your armrest on. You're going to get the rest of this on here. Nice and tight. And you're going to line this front seam up with the front and then the side seams right down the side. And I've already stapled it twice here in the front corners. So once we get the front sealed up or pulled tight, I'm going to pull that back nice and tight too. Make sure your, your lines on the sides are nice and symmetrical on there. You're going to wrap that over, kind of wrap it over. Take a second look at it. Staple that. So once you got that all done, you're going to start on the sides. Now be careful with the sides because if you pull them unevenly, this, this seam right here, it'll kind of get all wavy. So you're going to pull that evenly. You don't need to get it crazy, crazy tight because that centerpiece will also just start. I'm going to throw maybe two or three staples in there just to get it nice and even. Other side, fold it in, same deal. And I'm using pretty small staples. Kind of see, not much bigger than your standard stapler that would go in your in your house. It's probably one of you Xterra fans right now trying to get a hold of me. So once you get it stapled in in the corners, I like to go here in the center where your where this is going to be. This isn't totally necessary, but it makes for a little bit cleaner install. Let's pull it nice and get it nice and tight. We're going to get a couple staples kind of down in there. 
Sometimes you'll have to staple around a little bit. Some of them don't stick in. There's a couple small manufacturing variances in these uh, these armrests that I found. See that one didn't stick. We're looking pretty good. Pretty straight. You see that took me about five minutes to get that straight. If it does, if it's not straight and you screw it up, just pull the staples out and do it again. You, you'll have no idea that these little holes aren't going to mess with it or anything. Um, just take your time, you know, stretch it. Um, if you're doing leather, put the leather out in the sun, get it nice and hot. Leather gets a lot more pliable and stretchy that way. And then when it does get nice and cool, it'll uh, it'll mold to the fabric a lot or to the armrest a lot better. So once you have that all done. You're gonna make sure and get your fabric out of the way, your little, your four little holes that this thing connects to, because those screws won't won't hook in there if you don't have if the fabrics in the way. So you're gonna take this, set it in, put your four little screws in. Take your T20, run those down. Sometimes you have to mess with it a little bit. Careful the dropping screws. Classic. Bada bing, bada boom. Now this is the point. We're gonna set this in the tailgate. I'm gonna grab your favorite summer drink and have a sip. Beers, nothing better. There you go. This still works. You're gonna hook that back in. You're gonna feel that plushness right on your elbow while you're cruising down the strips looking for chicks or driving on the road while your wife is yelling at you. You're gonna be like, I don't even care. Get my arms comfy. That's it for today, fellas. Keep an eye out, xterraperformance.com. Available only there and possibly Amazon through us. Thanks, guys.